everyone. Welcome to this episode of Context is King. I'm Rebecca Brayton, and with me as always is WatchMojo founder and CEO Ashkan Karbis-Frushan to discuss starters, finishers, and everything in between. Whatever that means. Oh. <laughs> I know what it means. I don't think most uh, organizations anymore are going to be successful if they break things into seniority when it comes to doling out projects, who leads, and uh, you know who to delegate to. What I've come to appreciate is that some people in your organization are really good at sparking ideas and coming up with novel ways to tell stories or get things done. Um, and some people are really good finishers to kind of take a project and carry it over the finish line instead of letting it kind of um, you know, go sideways. Uh, or as they say in Hollywood, get stuck in development hell. Mm -hmm. But the missing component is the people in between, who kind of are more organized, who can kind of cross T's dot I's, and uh, you know actually move a project ahead. And even if they may lack a little bit of the confidence or conviction to say, we got to do this or that to wrap it up, uh, they definitely move the ball down the field to then hand it off to somebody to finish it. Which one would you be? So uh, while you were saying that, I was like, which one would I be? I think I'm in the middle. Mm, interesting. But do you not think that? <laughs> no, I do. I do. Uh, so, you know, I, I love sports. So I, and when I play soccer, I always play the striker position. And what I like about soccer is when you start playing with a new bunch of guys, everybody thinks that they're like the next, you know, Ronaldo or whatever. And I generally don't go like, trust me, I should play up front because I could run and put the ball in the net. But eventually, naturally, they're like, Ash is, you know, the center striker just because he has just an eye for the net. And like, he's got energy to run the ball like a madman. But in business, it's different, right? I mean, it's, it's like you have to, like, there's roles and there's seniority. But one thing I realized is I was always trying to figure out if I was a finisher, if I was a starter in business. And I come up with a lot of ideas, but I could never do all the things in the middle. Like, I don't have the attention span. I don't have the patience. And I'm already going to go think of other ideas. And I'm really, really good at closing it and just, like, finishing and just saying, okay, we got to get this done. Or... Literally, as in sales, ABC, always be closing. But for the life of me, I can't do the middle part. And what I've realized is if you think of the team, the core at Watch Mojo, that's what we're made of. I start, I tend to finish, or at least early on, and I surrounded myself with some great middle people that are instrumental. Like, that's the foundation of a business, if you think about it. Um, and it works. And so what I've realized now, is now that we're kind of grew from 5 to 20 to 70 and, you know, not everybody is going to fall in those three depending on seniority or education or even experience. Well, it's frustrating to be in the middle pack. Why? Because I feel like, I feel like it, it looks like you don't have ambition or drive to finish something. Uh, so I'm glad you say that and I always bring up sports, not because I'm delusional into thinking I could have been a professional striker, although... It's, I think it's more delusional to say I'm going to be a successful entrepreneur, by the way. Um, so here's the thing. The reason why I feel the striker position is so unique is you're the tip of the spear for um, you know, the defenders and the, the forwards. I think that's actually the toughest part. You know, Put the ball up and near the net. and all, It's a big net. You should be able to put it in more often than you miss. What's really hard is those players who you know, provide the backstop, who get the ball uh, over you know, to the uh, strikers to finish the play. So, But they're not the glory roles. No, but here's the thing. To, to like really, really effective, I'm not talking about flashy CEOs and flashy founders. And there's a difference between entrepreneurs and CEOs who are execs. The entrepreneurs are fine to be behind uh, the spotlight uh, and let others shine and realize it does take a team effort. And I think that's why when you have companies like Uber and WeWork kind of crash, they're brilliant risk takers, but they're maybe, especially the WeWork, they're a bit too vain and they want the spotlight. But the point I want to make is usually CEOs who are parachuted in, they are more of the divas and they have the ego. And I know it's a bit of a cliche, but it is kind of somewhat accurate. But successful and effective leaders who are entrepreneurs realize that without the people in the middle, you don't get anything done. When, when I'm in meetings and people are impressed with the organization we have, you know, we talked about this in the, uh, the perception gap and the myth of the entrepreneur. It's not BS. I kind of repeat that. But in fact, in effective organizations, you actually really want to retain, listen to, and make sure your middle folks are happy. Because they're the ones that separate talk 
versus execution. There's really uh, Brett Wilson, an uh, industry friend of mine who was a tube mogul, IPO'd it, Adobe bought it, and just recently I, I heard that, not surprisingly, like an addict that entrepreneurs are is back at doing new things. Um, he said it, he goes, There's a, we have a ratio between say versus, sorry, do versus say. So the middle of the pack people are the ones that usually do the most relative to what they say, and they're really, really valuable. Interesting. But wouldn't you say that those are the roles that they don't really, they're kind of like behind the scenes, they're not, they don't get the glory, they're not, they don't get the face but, time. But, but they also are the ones that you go and you really want to keep. Whereas like if I, had, and I'm not saying this because I'm a good creative person who has ideas and can finish it, I, as much as I don't like to lose anybody on the team, ideas are useless if you can't execute them. You know what I mean? And like myself being both a good starter and a good finisher, I know that those things are quite useless if there's not the people in the middle. And the reason why we've accomplished so much, look, our pure group went through five to 100 million of venture cap. Our seed investment that I lent the company was $250,000 and look at what we've created. It's because the middle of the pack people get you down the field. All right. So what do you guys think? Are you starters? Are you a finisher? Or are you a day-to-day -day grunt work person? Hey, I never <laughs> said that. She did. I did. Um, but anyway, uh, let us know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time.